welcome to another episode of Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit. I'm Jory Karen, and I've got mail. There's some mail in this tote, and there's also one package that will not fit in a tote. Isn't that exciting? I think it's quite exciting. As always, I want to give a big thank you to the person editing this mail video. You can check out their channel, and I encourage you to, right here, by clicking this link, and give them a big thank you from me. In fact, give them a hug. I don't know how you're going to do that, but do, do some star... Uh, that's not a star at all. That is... How do you do that? I guess... Give them a big star hug star thing, and they'll feel loved. And they will be loved. First thing is from Rolando Barreto. I've gotten mail from them before, him before. And I know I messed up the name the same exact way. He had delivery confirmation on this. That's... that's not really totally necessary. Like, have a little faith. It's gonna get here. And if I receive an envelope like this, I'm going to open it. You don't have to send me it with a delivery confirmation and then know that I got it and then not see it in an episode and go, Hey, wait a second. I think Jory's holding back on us. As evidenced by the last mail video that was like 50 minutes long, and this one's probably going to be pretty long as well, um, I don't hold back on mail, except for like junk mail and newspapers. Hold back on those newspapers. You know, everyone, everyone thinks, I'm going to better my life right now, I'm going to read the newspaper. And then you get the newspaper and you're like, I could just watch the news later tonight and get all that info, and I won't have to read. Because reading is bad for you. They say it's not, but it is. Think about it. Look at look at something up this close for that long. Um, I tangent there a little bit. Okay, let's read the note first. Dear George, hey, it's Rolando. You might think it's weird. I sent you a one dollar two times. That was because one was to Wyndham and one was to your new one. Wyndham new one. That doesn't. That's not. That shouldn't be as funny to me as it is. Also, when I told you to see my channel, I meant you, not your public. Tell Zach, John, Riley, Ryan, Lewis, and little Ryan. Oh, uh, I was about to say, why do you put in Ryan Lewis's last name, but not ours, but it's because there's a little Ryan. Hi, there's Candy. Your channel's wavy. What does that mean? Sincerely, Rolando. P.S. No homo, though, bro. P.P.S. Deep breath. Ha, Bisky! That was the first ha, Bisky of this episode. Rolando, you got it, bro. No homo though, bro, bro. Huh? Candy. There's candy! Eclipse gum. Cherry chill. There's a Snickers bar. There's a peanut chew. There's another peanut chew. I, I didn't show it to you. I probably should. And there's a crunch bar. You already saw the Snickers. If I have the gum, then I can't eat any more candy. Cherry hill and lemon ice gum? Okay, okay. Let's solve this by having a peanut chew. Peanut Chews, I've actually never had one of these before. Have you had one of these before? Here's a good question for you guys to answer down below. What candy have you seen in any of the uh, mail videos that you have never had but you would like to try? I know it might be difficult because uh, this is just one mail video. And uh, if you're still sane, you probably haven't watched them all. Margaret and Michael Johnson. Johnson, not Jackson. I thought it was going to be Jackson. I got so excited. Hey, Jory, it's me, Chris J. I know my last letter was a little long, so I'm going to shorten this one a little. I just wanted to let you know that since I last sent you a letter, I got a part in the community play called The Hunchback of Notre Dame. As a soldier, it was really fun and challenging at the same time, and I love playing one of the bad guys. Anyway, I was wondering, did you have any acting experience besides on YouTube? Just a little fun question there from Chris J. P.S. I love the picture that was taken of me. The promo for the play. Thanks, Reed. I actually was in drama in middle school, which was 7th and 8th grade. Actually, I got my acting start um, first, no, readiness. So I did kindergarten, then readiness, and then first grade because I was like too young, but then I was like a little too old. Readiness, whatever. I was one of the um, the rats in the Nutcracker. I've never seen the Nutcracker since then, so I don't even know if there are rats in it. Maybe I'm talking about the wrong thing. I think it was that. So that's where I got my prestigious acting start. 
as rat number three. I don't know if it was number three. And then I did this other weird, huge play thing that was long story. That that that's weird. But I was an angel, <laughs> duh. And uh, oh, that was a good time. That was a big play. And then middle school, and I was in drama because like not many people know this, but that's where all of the women were. And I noticed that there aren't many that that many guys in this thing. There's a reason why there weren't that many guys in it. Uh, you know, that none of that even really makes sense, does it? A lot of women in drama. A lot of women in drama. But if you stick with it further, like in high school and college, well, if you're in college and you really are in drama, if you're in it more in high school, that's when it starts to get weirder. Just weirder. You get people who are, like, actors. Okay, this is a picture of him. Al, 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 Chris Johnson, soldier number one. Let's move on. I spent way too much time. I've done two notes. Free sample from Woolite. Free sample and three dollar coupon inside. Oh boy, it's like Christmas all over again. I already celebrated Christmas and now I get one free here for top and front loading machines. Keeps dark clothes looking like no! Three dollars off any thir fifty ounce or larger woolite. Oh crap! Ripping it. Nope. 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 Okay. Next letter is from International Hip Dysplasia Institute. By the way, look what I found. Little letter opener slash rapier. <laughs> That's exciting. That's an exciting word, rapier, isn't it? Wristbands. Healthy hips for life. Mmm, I like those hips, baby. Next thing is from Dimension 9. Notify sender of new address. See that one up there? See that one? That's old, and that one's new. Important, important info. You know, what the hell? What the fuck is this? This is brilliant. What are these? They're little, like, keychain thingies. What is this? I love this. Owen gives you the power to overcome life's aches and pains. Barney protects you from all the bullies in life. Lucky protects you from harm by taking the hit for you. Champ gives you the power to knock out the competition. You guys ready for this? Huh? Huh? What? What? Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm sorry, did I just break your monitor? Yeah, I did. With these sick moves. Oh, sorry again. Didn't know that was coming, huh? Oh, stop hitting yourself. That wasn't hitting yourself. That was me hitting you. Which one do I want to wear? I'm obviously wearing champ here. I am going to be so powerful right now. It's going to be so annoying for you. I love it. I love it. Moving on. Next is, let's do a postcard. This postcard. What? Is that Gunnarola? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say. Buy postal stamps. <laughs> hey, Jory, hope you enjoy the Gunner Roll plus Andrew Pants postcards. As we both know, they rock. Hope everything is going well at your new place. Hope to see more vids soon. Ha, Bisky Janet. P.S. Say hi to Zach for me. I could probably do that. He's at work right now. <laughs> I don't work. I'm broke. Newsweek. That guy looks like a, a douchebag, doesn't he? You know what's fun? Divorce. <laughs> ebony and ivory. I don't get ivory magazine, but this is ebony. More ebony magazine. Let's not fight. Okay, here is a free sample from Target. Dove. Which is good, because I ran out of shampoo. I hope this is shampoo and not body wash. Soothing cream? I don't need cream. I need shampoo. I'm out of shampoo. Oh, it controls up to 100% of fizz. Frizz. So, is this shampoo? That's not either. That sucks. Here's another free sample from, I have no idea. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a Target package, but no, it's not. Seattle's best coffee. Give him that to Zach. Seriously, viewers, I know you won't get this for like a month, but I need more shampoo. So, uh, if you could get on that. 
I've been much obliged. Here is um, obviously a diaper. <laughs> what else would it be if it's in such a big package? Oh, underwear. Super plus absorbency. Extra large. For 44 inch to 64 inch waist. Okay, diapers are hilarious, right? Do you honestly think I have a size 44 waist? I have one of those machines that jiggles like this and it trims down my waistline. <laughs> National Institute of Infant Nutrition. Alright. Piece of mail, piece of mail, opening up the mail. Opening up the mail. Opening up. National Institute of Infant Nutrition conducts monthly service to understand nutrition for infants. Don't have one. Can't help you. Can't help you at all. What is this? I don't know what this is. Ah, uh, is that more diapers? That's more diapers. It depends. What size? Large, extra large. Moving on up to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Moving on up to the east side, we finally got a piece of the pie. Playboy. <laughs> Miss December Rainy Day Jordan's name is a misnomer, as big as her home state of Texas. It's totally ironic because everyone knows me as this ridiculously sunny gal. The 20 year old beams. How then did she wind up with that name? For good luck, she explains. Mom says that in a big drought and she thought she could make it rain by calling me Rainy. Honestly, it isn't that unusual name in my family. My mom is Windy. My aunt is Dusty. <laughs> my great aunt is Sandy. Oh, that is. It's a farm thing. The granddaughter of farmers, Rainy Levels, or Rainy Revels, in small-town life offered by her West Texas stomping grounds. Her summers are filled with horseback riding, and her winters are spent plotting how to steal the local Christmas parade. I was never nervous about getting naked for my test shoots, she says, laughing, because that's why I wanted to pose in the first place. Anybody can look pretty with their clothes on, but not everybody can take pictures with their clothes off. Though Rainy is now Miss, no or Miss December, her life forecast hasn't changed. This is the best Christmas present a girl could ever receive. Well, Merry Christmas, Rainy. Merry Christmas indeed. Well, good luck, Rainy, on all of your adventures in this world. I wish you the best. Hope you make it as a nurse. I mean, you already met that goal. Moving on is a postcard. Boop. This one is from Janet. Jory, hope you have a hot bisky holiday. I love your candy deal and videos. You are awesome. Love, Janet. Well, thank you, Janet. Moving on is a postcard. Boop. Uh, this one is from Ryan. Hi, Jory. Hey, how are you? I'll keep this short and simple. I live in the murder capital of Canada. I live in the Slurpee capital of the world. I've never tried a Slurpee before. This is where I work. The other side. I send you a year subscription to Maxim. Merry Xmas. I would love a postcard back. Your fan, Ryan Z Zach Zacharias. Ooh, ooh, something from Twinings. Twinings, Twinings. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's really about how this stuff tastes. Holy shit, there are a lot in here. What do we got? What do we got? Pumpkin spice, okay. Cold brewed iced tea. Green tea with mint. And organic Earl Grey. Earl Grey, I love Earl Grey. Earl Grey! Pita stickers. More pita stickers. Not pita sticker. Jory, hope everything is going Ha Bisky for you. Look forward to seeing more vids from you soon. It's always ex an extreme pleasure to talk to you on Twitter once in a while. Thanks for that. Peace out. And Ha Bisky, Janet. P.S. Team Andrew equals win. That is for damn sure. Team Andrew is Team Andrewlicious. Andrewsome? Okay, here's a letter from Dennis Schulteis. On the back is sealed with a Fort Knox. Shh, oh, come on. Cut, you bastard. Dear Jory, hi, Bisky. 
H-A-I Bisky? Come on, what is this, amateur hour? My name is Blaine, and most of my grade is aware of the word Hibisky. I feel I've accomplished one thing off my bucket list. Also, I has mailed you tempur stuff. You're welcome. Sadly, I don't skateboard or any of that stuff. I'm 12 and I live in Ohio. I'm not going out of the city because that can be kind of scary. This envelope is sealed with Fort Knox and Trojan. Ladies. This summer I went to London. Ladies. I go to Australia this year. Ladies. I have sent you five pence, British cents, and five cent euro. Ha bisky Christmas story. Ha bisky blade. P.S. This is typed because my handwriting is shitty. Spend so much time in the shit, hey, it's not that bad. I think that's actually damn good handwriting compared to mine. Pence piece? Euro. Euro piece. Euro piece of shit. <laughs> that's mean. That's so mean. Free sample from lactate. I am not lactose intolerant, but maybe I should keep this on hand just in case someone I know visits who is lactose intolerant and forgets that shit. It's always good to have a, ooh, Playboy. Renewal notice. Oh, does that mean that's the last one? My Playboy subscription is over. It means I won't be getting any more Playboy. Sad day. Rainy day Jordan is the last centerfold I'll be receiving. Sad, sad day. Ooh, free sample. <laughs> Garnier, I hope, it's, I hope it's shampoo. What the fuck is this? See deep wrinkles reduced in just two weeks. Try it now. So it's not shampoo. Only put it on one side of my head. <laughs> Gotta get that below the eye, because that's where wrinkles are in those crow's feet. Uh, <laughs> I hope that this side of my head... Um, Loses all the wrinkles, but this side has wrinkles, and I'll look like a stroke victim. That's not appropriate. I apologize for that. Um, if I could take it back, I wouldn't, actually. Okay, moving on. Let's open this box. Let's open this box. It's from Drew Prater. It is really light. It's kind of scary how light it is. Um, there's a big ha bisky with a monkey. Um, think geek monkey. Monkey, gotta keep one jump ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword, high steel, only what I can't afford, and that's everything. See, before I started this episode, I was like, maybe I should try and work that in there somewhere. And I did. Hello, Jory. I'm a long-time watcher and thought I would finally send something to you. I found some ketchup-flavored chips at Big Lots and thought of you. Haven't tried them yet, so if you could try them out, I want to know how they taste. I wanted to send you candwiches, but they would take too long. I might send it later next month. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Happy Bisky. Now it says Ha Bisky. I just fucked up. Drew Prater. Okay, ketchup flavored crispy potato monster snack. Sure, why not open it? Why not eat them? Why not? The ketchup is definitely there. Um, oh, oh, drop that one. The thing kind of tastes like fries and ketchup, but without any of the texture. Kind of weird. It's a playmate on the ground. Here's something from Kobe Carne. Carner, Carner. Ha, Bisky! That's all it says. <laughs> Kobe Carner, <laughs> all he sent me was a piece of paper that said, Ha, Bisky on it. That is an elaborate hot biscuit. Straight to the point. Precise. He actually gets a golf clap. With Bell accompaniment. Nature's Plus. The Energy Supplements. I hope it's candy. Can't wait to have sugar-coated B12. Chocolate peanut butter swirl. High protein energy meal. Directions. Add contents of packet. Eight fluids of skim milk or whole milk or juice. And mix or shake or until smooth. For best results, milk or juice should be very cold. Well, fuck it, I should probably have this right now. Be back in a minute. Riff rat, street rat, I don't. 
swirl. It says great taste. I call it mediocre. Mixes instantly. It did mix pretty fast. Complete broad spectrum protein complex with spirulina. I don't know what that is. 44% of my daily supply of protein. Is the beach this way or is it this way? It's not the best tasting. Proprietary non-GMO protein blend, rice protein, pea protein, <laughs> and soy, isolated soy, and fermented soy, fructose, Dutch cocoa, tricalcium phosphate. That's going to make me weirdness. Ah. It has all these ingredients, and at the bottom it says dot 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 and love, which I really don't want to hear that there's love in my drink. <laughs> Um, it makes me, it, con it makes me conjure up images. I mean, why is this so thick now? See, now I'm wondering that. Now that I hit the bottom, it really didn't mix that well at all. There's like a bunch stuck at the bottom. It's definitely not something you would drink for pleasure. You drink it for love. <laughs> ah, no, um, hmm. <coughs> Next is a letter from Ezra Horn. Oh, Ezra. I know, Ezra. Grand old Christmas time greeting to you, Mr. Karen. Hope it's warmer in Portsmouth than your unheated lakeside cabin. Anyway, I miss... <coughs> I wasn't choking up there, it's just that trick. Anyway, I miss you, buddy. Hope you're having a great Christmas and that your new year is prosperous. Ezra Horn. Ezra, I miss you too. I gotta get me out to that uh, L.A. area. If you own a company in the L.A. area and you want to just give me money to fly out there to just talk with you or something, that'd be cool. Okay, so some of you out there must live in the L.A. area. You should, you should uh, give me a lot of money to come out. Uh, maybe I'll shoot a video with you. Maybe I'll sponsor your product. Uh, yeah, but also account there for days where I can go and see my friend Ezra. You should get on that now. I'll wait. No, I won't. Here are some scent samples from Lacoste. Lacoste is a not a good name. It makes me think of Acoste, and that makes me think of rape. Do you want to smell like rape? Let's make this arm smell like powerful. Okay, okay. It wasn't that bad. And like this arm smell like pure. Not bad, not not too bad. And, um, relaxed. What am I gonna make smell like relaxed? My neck, my back, lick my, and my, my neck, my back, lick my, and my. <sighs> oh, what, what does this one smell like again? They all kind of smell the same to me. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, last piece of mail is this raw right hair. It says fragile all over it, and express post. You don't have to send anything to me express ever, any of you guys, ever, because um, it's only gonna sit around for a while, and I won't get to it, because that's how I do stuff. This is from Robert Kennedy. Open it, I think he wanted me to open this with John and Riley, but we live like an hour apart. All of us live about an hour apart from each other. So that, that wasn't really gonna happen. Um, I apologize for that. Those are way louder than I thought they would be. Hope my neighbors aren't home. Let's be honest though, if they are home, they really need to get a job. He left the price tag on it. I'm gonna take that price tag off. Man, holographic things are way cool on camera, aren't they? This is going to be the centerpiece of my house. <laughs> I'm going to go and hang this up right now. <laughs> oh my god, that is so perfect. Oh, you got to see this. 
Let's go on a field trip, huh? Let's do this. Field trip time. Okay, okay, so let's pretend. Go and visit Jory and you can't see this. I got a Christmas stocking on my door. Oh, we enter the house. Oh, whoa, those wolves. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so thank you, Robert Kennedy. That is brilliant. I am thoroughly in love with that, and I can't wait to show everyone who shows up in my apartment. Check out my wolves, bitch! <laughs> I'll be cooking meals, cooking meals, and, and then every once in a while, I'll just I'll get that urge, and, be like, Aah! and then I'll look up, and wolves will be staring right back at me. The pack. Are you saying you want to be part of my wolf pack, Robert? Robert, you are part of my wolf pack. We are wolves of a pack. Mm -hmm. That is all of the mail. Aw, oh, I have to pick a postcard. Let's do that. So there are four postcards, three of which are from Janet. One is from Ryan Zacharias. Janet, you've honestly, you, you have the better postcards here. And you have the most. But he hasn't received a postcard before. So I'm going to send one to him. Plus, you have one coming anyways, right? Yeah, you do. You have like two coming your way. Okay, I'll do one to you, and one to you, and two postcards going out. That's how it's going to be. Uh, my back hurts. I, I hope, I wonder if it's that protein thing. Or maybe it's the, the skin wrinkly thing. Or maybe, maybe it was all the point. Maybe it was. When it's a rainy day, look at rainy day, Miss December. Okay. That is um, it for this episode of Is It a Good Idea to Mail Jory Karen Stuff? I hope you found that it was a good idea. Um, as always, please give a big thank you to the editor of this mail video by clicking right here. Um, Farrah Fawcett, not, that is not a good photo of her. I don't know, maybe there is no such thing as a good photo of her. That could be. How do you guys feel, blondes or brunettes? I like to say that I don't care, but I think I naturally go towards brunettes. You can also say redheads if you want. I kind of forgot to include that entire group. Um, also, if you want to mail me something, uh, that is my address, and that is how you can get a postcard back from me. If you mail me a postcard, you'll probably get a postcard back. Because I haven't been seeing as many postcards recently. She's named Candy Barr. The one with the nipple tassels is named Candy Bar. B-A-R-R. If only she was more attractive. Just because you can take your clothes off doesn't mean you're attractive. And that goes double for you, Marilyn Chambers. That is it for this episode. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys some other time. I think that's everything I had to say. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's more naked people. I think, I think in Playboy there should be at least one naked woman per page. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you, Robert, for that picture. Thank you, everyone, for everything. Thank you for the candy and the, uh, the ketchup chips. Decent. Decent. Okay, that is it. Goodbye.